This is an English-speaking test practice to help you develop your fluency, coherence, vocabulary resource, grammatical range, and pronunciation in the English language. Welcome to the English-speaking test. My name is Mary Park and I will be your examiner for today. Before we begin, can you please state your full name for verification purposes? If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask me after the test. Good luck! First question. Do you think it's important to have good communication skills in the workplace? Why or why not? Thank you. My name is Robert Carlton. Good communication skills are essential in any workplace. They help to build positive relationships between co-workers and can lead to increased productivity and job satisfaction. Clear communication can also help to prevent misunderstandings and conflicts, which can be detrimental to the overall functioning of the workplace. Additionally, good communication skills are particularly important for those in leadership positions, as they need to be able to effectively convey their vision and objectives to their team. In today's globalized economy, communication skills that extend beyond one's native language are becoming increasingly important as well. For all these reasons, I believe that having good communication skills is absolutely essential in the workplace. Effective communication skills are important in any profession or workplace. They help in building rapport with colleagues, clients, and superiors, and ensure that messages are conveyed accurately and concisely. Effective communication can help to prevent misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and conflicts, which can adversely affect the work environment and morale. Good communication skills can also improve teamwork and collaboration, which can enhance job satisfaction and improve productivity. On the other hand, the lack of communication skills can lead to confusion, conflicts, and delays. Inability to communicate effectively can result in missed deadlines, poor customer service, and lost business opportunities. Moreover, poor communication can create a negative work environment, leading to employee disengagement, high turnover rates, and a decline in overall performance. In summary, good communication skills are essential for success in the workplace. They are important for building relationships, enhancing collaboration and teamwork, improving customer service and ensuring that work is completed efficiently and effectively. Good points. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges facing businesses today? There are several challenges that businesses face today, ranging from increased competition to rapid technological advancements. One of the biggest challenges is the need to adapt to changes in the market and stay ahead of the competition. With the rise of e-commerce and the increasing popularity of online shopping, Many traditional brick and mortar businesses have struggled to stay afloat. Another challenge is the need to innovate and keep up with technological advancements in order to remain competitive. This can be particularly challenging for small businesses with limited resources. Additionally, businesses must also navigate complex regulatory and legal frameworks, which can be time consuming and expensive. Finally, finding and retaining skilled employees is also a significant challenge, particularly in industries with a shortage of qualified workers. To overcome these challenges, businesses must be flexible, adaptable, and willing to invest in new technologies and employee training. They must also be proactive in anticipating changes in the market and adapting their strategies accordingly. In my opinion, one of the biggest challenges facing businesses today is the ever-changing technological landscape. With new technologies emerging almost daily, it can be difficult for businesses to keep up and remain competitive. Another challenge is the increasing globalization of the economy, which means businesses must be able to compete on a global scale and navigate different cultural norms and regulations. Finally, there is the challenge of attracting and retaining top talent, as employees are looking for not only good salaries but also a positive work culture and opportunities for growth and development. These challenges require businesses to be agile, adaptable, and innovative in order to stay ahead in today's fast-paced business world. Nicely said. Describe a situation where you had to deal with a difficult coworker or supervisor. How did you handle the situation? In my previous job, I had a supervisor who was often very critical of my work, which made it difficult for me to feel confident in my abilities. One day, she gave me a task that I felt was unclear and unrealistic given the tight deadline. I tried to ask her for clarification, but she became defensive and dismissive, telling me that I needed to figure it out on my own. 
At first, I felt frustrated and discouraged, but I decided to take a step back and approach the situation calmly and professionally. I took some time to review the task requirements and gathered more information from my colleagues who had worked on similar projects before. I also scheduled a meeting with my supervisor to discuss my concerns and to ask for more guidance. During the meeting, I presented my research and explained why I believed the task was challenging. I also offered some suggestions on how we could modify the requirements to make them more feasible. My supervisor listened to my concerns and was impressed with my initiative and problem-solving skills. She agreed to modify the task and gave me more support moving forward. From that experience, I learned that it's important to communicate clearly and respectfully with difficult co-workers or supervisors. Instead of reacting emotionally, I took a constructive approach and showed that I was willing to work collaboratively to find a solution. As a result, I gained more confidence in my abilities and built a better working relationship with my supervisor. What do you think are some of the benefits and drawbacks of working from home? Working from home has become increasingly popular in recent years, particularly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. While there are several benefits to working from home, there are also some drawbacks that must be considered. One of the primary benefits of working from home is the increased flexibility it provides. Employees have more control over their schedules and can often complete tasks at times that work best for them. This can lead to improved work-life balance and reduced stress levels. Additionally, there may be cost savings associated with working from home, such as reduced commuting expenses and the ability to eat meals at home instead of purchasing them while at work. However, there are also several drawbacks to working from home. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of face-to-face -face interaction with co-workers and supervisors, which can lead to feelings of isolation and reduced collaboration. Additionally, working from home can blur the boundaries between work and personal life, making it difficult to disconnect from work-related tasks outside of regular work hours. Finally, working from home requires a certain level of self-discipline and focus, as there may be more distractions and less accountability than in a traditional office setting. Overall, working from home can be a positive experience for many employees, but it is important to carefully consider both the benefits and drawbacks before making a decision. Employers should also be aware of the potential challenges and take steps to mitigate them, such as implementing regular check-ins and promoting team-building activities. Final question. How do you manage your time effectively at work to ensure that you are meeting your deadlines and achieving your goals? Managing time effectively is crucial for achieving success in the workplace. To ensure that I am meeting my deadlines and achieving my goals, I use a variety of strategies to manage my time effectively. Firstly, I always start my day by making a to-do list of all the tasks I need to accomplish that day. I prioritize my tasks based on their urgency and importance and focus on completing the most important ones first. This helps me to stay organized and ensure that I am not missing any important deadlines. Secondly, I try to minimize distractions and interruptions as much as possible. For example, I turn off my phone notifications and close any unnecessary tabs on my computer to stay focused on the task at hand. Thirdly, I break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable tasks. This makes it easier for me to work through my to-do list and stay motivated throughout the day. Finally, I regularly assess my progress and adjust my schedule as necessary. If I find that I am falling behind on a task, I will re-evaluate my priorities and adjust my schedule accordingly. By using these strategies, I am able to manage my time effectively at work and ensure that I am meeting my deadlines and achieving my goals.